Hi everyone, uh, this is a follow-up from our class, uh, the follow-up to our follow-up from our meditation class. And I, and I uh, given, have given you some, um, some handouts that we did not go over only because we, uh, we, there's only so much we can do. So I wanted to use these videos as a uh, continuation of our conversations. Um, so basically there were two handouts that I've given to you. Uh, the first one is called the Open Focus Induction. And this is a script to, to guide you through the process of open focus practice. And more importantly, it teaches you what my, uh, my, my teacher, Dr. Les Femi said, the most important thing you can do is have the ability to be flexible in your attention. Uh, primarily because if you get stuck in beta, high beta, um, that's where you start to generate a lot of stress in the system. And that's where most people are. So your ability to be flexible, in other words, to break out of that beta state into an open focus state. Now, of course, you can't hang out all day in open focus because you can't get anything done. So it's your ability to just get some recovery, then back into beta. It doesn't have to be high beta. It could be mid-range or low grade. Just your ability to sense the environment, make sure you don't step into a hole or off a cliff. You know, you have to have awareness. But the ability to be flexible is the key. So... The script, what it does is you're going to uh, read the script and how you read the script is you place the script in front of you uh, and there should be, there's going to be an attachment uh, in case you don't have the script or you, you lost it. Um, we have an attachment to this uh, email. So anyway, uh, you look at the script and you first, you look at the first line. It says, can you sense the space between your eyes? When you read something, you go into a narrow focus. Your brain goes into beta waves, uh, low to mid, because you have to understand. So when you read it, then what you do is you close your eyes and you uh, do what it says. So can you sense the space between your eyes? Narrow focus. Close your eyes. The moment you close your eyes, you shift into alpha state. Then you, you, you go ahead and proceed and you try to sense the space between your eyes. And take a moment, take you know, a couple moments and just get a sense of the space between your eyes. The moment you get a really good sense of that space and notice that space between the eyes, then you open your eyes and you go to the next line. The next line says, can you sense the space between your ears? In order to read that, you have to go into a beta brain state. Then what you do is you close your eyes and then you shift into alpha state. Then you get, you move forward and, and get a sense of the space between your ears. And as you sense the space between your ears, your brain shifts into an alpha state even deeper. And once you get a really good sense of the space between your ears, you open your eyes and you go to the next line. Can you become aware of the space that your lips occupy in space? So when you read something in beta brain activity, you have to process it. So the brain is firing a little higher. But once you get a sense of it, understanding of it, you close your eyes. And in this uh, question it says can you become aware of the space that your lips occupy in space so you just you get a sense of the space around your lips and remember when you put your attention on space the brain shifts into an alpha state take a moment get this get a sense of the space around your lips when you do that and you felt it then your eyes open and that's what you do you're doing this in each line now do you have to go through the entire script the three pages no you can you can spend the entire practice on one line Eyes open, eyes closed. Eyes open, eyes closed. Because what is this teaching you is how to be flexible in your attention. So throughout the day when you're stressed, you learn, you have the ability to go into open focus to de-stress the nervous system. So that's the first handout. Uh, the second handout, I'll tell you on the next video to keep these videos short. Thanks.